to Storytime Online. I'm Mary Ferris, Children's Librarian at Wood Library, and wait till you see what our theme is today. It's rather silly. Come on up so we can show them. Can you guess? Our stories today are going to be about underwear. So let's get our first one in. Talking about silly, who ever heard of vegetables in underwear? This book is written by Jared Chapman. He did the illustrations too. And I have to warn you, all the veggies are wearing undies. This is published by Abrams Appleseed. And you can see some broccoli is taking off his shirt, taking off his pants. And what's he wearing? Underwear. I wear underwear. You wear underwear. We all wear underwear. Drawers, undies, briefs, underpants. There's big underwear and little underwear. Dirty underwear and clean underwear. Old underwear new underwear, serious underwear, and funny underwear. There's underwear for Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, all the way through Sunday. Underwear for boys, and underwear for girls. Underwear for big kids and underwear for babies. Wait a second. Babies don't wear underwear. Babies wear diapers. Sorry, babies. But the best part about underwear is you can wear it anywhere. Just to remember to put your clothes on top. <laughs> That's vegetables in underwear. Told you it'd be silly. Well, should we do a finger play? And I have to say, I don't know any finger plays about underwear, but maybe we could, well, let's see. Let's do one we're all familiar with and get your monkeys ready to jump on your bed. I've got five little monkeys, they're jumping on the bed. When one fell off, well, he bumped his head. So his mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So hide one away. Four little monkeys are jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. His mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So three little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So that means two little monkeys were jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. So mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. So that leaves one little monkey who is jumping on the bed. When she fell off, oh, she bumped her head. But her mama called the doctor and the doctor said, you say it with me? No more monkeys jumping on the bed. So no more monkeys. But I have another underwear story. And this one's a little spooky, as well as a little silly. This is called <gasps> Creepy Pair of Underwear. This is by Aaron Reynolds with pictures by Peter Brown. This is published by Simon & Schuster. Jasper Rabbit 
needed new underwear. On Thursday, Mom took him to the underwear store and grabbed the last three packages of plain white. But as they headed off for the checkout, Jasper spotted them. Oh my, oh my goodness, look at our book. <gasps> creepy underwear. So creepy, so comfy. Mom, Mom, can we get these? Jasper pleaded. I think they're a little too creepy, said Mom. They're not creepy, they're cool, said Jasper. I'm not a little bunny anymore, I'm a big rabbit now. Mom agreed to buy one pair. Well, that night, Jasper wore his cool new underwear to bed. Do you want me to leave the hallway light on? asked Dad. Dad, I'm not a little bunny anymore, said Jasper. I'm a big rabbit now. So his dad shut the door, and that's when Jasper noticed the underwear glowed. A ghoulish, greenish glow. He closed his eyes. He pulled up the covers. He buried his face in his pillow, but it didn't help. He could still see that ghoulish, greenish glow. Jasper leaped out of bed and put on a pair of plain white undies. He stuffed the creepy underwear into the bottom of his laundry hamper, and he finally fell asleep. But when he got up the next day, he was wearing the creepy underwear. Jasper threw them in the garbage can. He was still a big rabbit. He wasn't scared of anything, but he was done with the scary underwear. So after school, Jasper was doing his homework when he heard it. A scratchy, scraping sound coming from his dresser. He opened the drawer. <gasps> they were back! Starting at, staring at him with that ghoulish, greenish glow. Well, he snatched the creepy underwear out of the drawer and he grabbed a big envelope and some stamps and he sent it to China. Bye-bye, scary underwear, he said, dropping the package in the mailbox. But when he opened the front door the next morning, there they were and were those chopsticks? His creepy pair of underwear had somehow returned from China and had brought back souvenirs. Jasper grabbed his mom's good sewing scissors. She didn't like him using them, but this was an emergency. This time the creepy underwear was gone for good. You see, he cut it all up into pieces. At bedtime, he slowly opened his underwear drawer Nothing, just plain white undies. He searched under his bed. He shook out his lampshades. Whew. There was no sign of creepy underwear. He went into the bathroom to comb his ears. <gasps> they were back. What's the matter with you? His mom asked. You're so jittery lately. Nothing, he yelped. A grown rabbit couldn't be terrified of his underpants. Well, he seized the underwear. He snagged a shovel from the garage and he rode. He didn't stop pedaling until he reached the creek hanger cliff. And he began to dig into the hill. He dug until his hole was dark and deep and 100% underwear proof. Then he dropped the underwear in. It gleamed from the bottom, oh, that ghoulish, greenish glow. But not for long. When he got home, Jasper crept up to his dresser. They couldn't be in there. There was no way, right? He reached for the handle. He peeked in. Oh, nothing, just plain white. Jasper smiled and turned out the light. <clears throat> it was very dark. But there was
there was just one problem. It was really dark in there, even for a big rabbit. Jesper turned on the light. He looked at his non-glow pair of plain white and he knew what he had to do. The creepy underwear were a little muddy. You see what he did? He dug them up. But they still filled the room with that gentle greenish glow. And the next day, Jasper gathered his allowance money and went to the underwear store all by himself, just like a big rabbit. And that night, Jasper wasn't scared at all. As he lay down to sleep, he smiled. And so did his underwear, because they had finally found someone who wasn't scared of creepy underwear. <laughs> I don't know what I would do if there was really glow-in-the-dark underwear. Well, can you make a bunny rabbit with your fingers like this? Just like bunny rabbit ears? And then with your hand, can you bring your fingers around to touch your thumb and make a hole? Here is a bunny with his ears so funny and here's his hole in the ground. When a noise he hears, well, he pricks up his ears and he hops in his hole with a bound. Should we do it again? That was just a quick one. Here is a bunny with his ears so funny, and here's his hole in the ground. When a noise he hears, he pricks up his ears and he hops in his hole with a bound. Well, this next book that I'm going to share is really one that gave me the idea that we should be having an underwear book. This is just called Underwear. It's written by Jen Harney. She did the pictures and it's published by Disney Hyperion. So it looks like somebody was in the bathtub. We've got some paw prints leading away. Oh, we have a bear there. Stop right there. You should be wearing underwear. Underwear? Underwear, under there, underwear, over there, over where, on the chair, up the stairs, right there, on the chair, there's a pair of underwear. White pair, tight pair, <gasps> big tear. Here's a spare. Where to wear this underwear? Down here? Up there? Over there? Or everywhere? You see, he's just waving it around his head. He's wearing it there and there and there and there. And there, I never knew there were so many options. Underwear makes awesome hair. <laughs> Want a beard? <laughs> so silly. Hey, look there, it's Super Bear. And goggle wearing Aqua Bear. What the heck's going on? In there. Oops. Uh oh. No time to spare. Quick, I gotta hide somewhere. Lights go out. I'll dive in there. Beware, big bear. Here comes a scare. No fair. Go and grab a dry new pair. Underwear? Is that underwear? That's a sock. Don't 
don't make me glare. Jammied bear, let's read in the chair. Tired there, yawning bear, well time for bed I do declare. Sleep tight, sweet bear, snugly tucked in under there. Under where? <laughs> Well, let's see, should we do another finger play? Can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out? Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. And can you clap, clap, clap your crazies out? Clap, clap, clap your crazies out. Clap, clap. Clap your crazies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you, now you can stand up. I'm gonna stay seated, but I'm gonna, still gonna stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out. Stretch, stretch, stretch your stretchies out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you jump? Jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out. Jump, jump, jump your jiggles out and wiggle your waggles away. Can you yawn? <sighs> yawn your sleepies out. Yawn. <sighs> yawn your sleepies out. Yawn. Yawn your sleepies out and wiggle your waggles away. Now can you shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out. Shake, shake, shake your sillies out and wiggle your waggles away. All right, I think we've got time for one more book before we have our flannel board story. So this is called Underpants Thunderpants. It's written by Peter Bentley with pictures by Deborah Melman. And it is published by Paragon. Look at all those undies. <laughs> One day, when the weather is sunny and fine, Dog hangs his underpants out on the line. But thunder and lightning soon fill up the sky. <gasps> underpants, thunderpants, look at them fly. Over the ocean, the jungle in town, where will those undies come fluttering down? How odd, says the submarine captain below. First I saw lightning, now I see snow. Down in the sea, not far from the beach, a giant, a giant, the little fish screech. Do you see his undies? Look just like them, doesn't he? Octopus wriggles and jiggles with glee. Four pairs of underpants are perfect for me. Underpants, thunderpants. Oh, just imagine that. Roger the pirate has got a new hat. Safe out of sight of the crocs hungry eyes, monkey discovered a cunning disguise. Do you see this? These undies are covered with leaves, just like the leaves in the tree. So he can't see it. Elephant's trunk has been tickled by bees. Oh, Father, he grumbles, I'm going to sneeze, but I don't have a tissue. Oh, what shall I do? Then a jumbo size hanky. How handy. Ha choo. Watch it. A hunter is out on the snoop. Underpants, blunderpants, splat. Oh, in the poop. Up at the palace, the king says, oh my, three pairs of underpants 
baked in a pie? A two-headed alien stares from his lair. Underpants, wonderpants, now I'm not there. And that's the end. So those underpants went far and wide. <laughs> All right, well, can you wiggle your fingers and wiggle your toes? Can you wiggle your shoulders and don't forget your nose? Can you wiggle your elbows and slap your knees, stretch your arms out, and then get ready, please, because it's time for a little fun on the flannel board. And this is called, What Color Is Your Underwear? Oops, let's get the lighting here right. There we go. What color is your underwear, hairy horse? Well, I wear cherry red boxers. Mm-hmm, of course. What color is your underwear, Tommy the Turtle? Oh, my underwear is purple, purple, purple. What color is your underwear, Chris Crocodile? Oh, yellow and furry, a snappy new style. Sally the spider, what color is your underwear? Let's get her straightened up here. Oh, it's lacy and pink, four fancy pairs. Remember, she's got eight legs, so that's why she needs so many. What color is your underwear, Mrs. Moo? Well, utterly sensible and a pretty shade of blue. Susie Sheep? What color is your underwear? I wear woolly green bloomers, but please don't stare. And what color is your underwear, Elephant John? Oh my, oh my, I forgot to put mine on. I hope you didn't forget to put yours on today. Those are our silly underwear stories. Come on up there so we can say goodbye. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll be back with another Storytime program next week. So, bye-bye.